installing a team called Storefront. Right? This uh, team is actually available on the um, WordPress. If you install WordPress, you should be able to get this free team. Uh, let me show you step by step how to do it. First of all, of course, you need to log into your uh, C panel. Right? For me, for example, this is my C panel www.dmhubtraining.org slash cpanel all right? So in order to get into your cpanel, you must remember it's your website slash cpanel That's how you get into your cpanel Now when you go to the cpanel, right, that's uh, what I'm going to show it to you right now Okay, when I and put enter, right, I just press enter, it comes into username as well as password huh? so you must remember your username and password for your cpanel once you have that you just log in okay uh, this cpanel log in right the next thing you want to do is all right this is when you go to cpanel you scroll down all the way down to wordpress right you see this here wordpress so what you want to do is you click on the wordpress Okay, here we're trying to, I'm trying to tell you is how to install in a new uh, site, uh, work, website and all things. So, which means you need to create install. Uh. You click install or WordPress. Okay, when you create WordPress, you need to make sure that you have the latest version of the uh, WordPress. And make sure also the protocol is triple W, uh, HTTPS. Okay. Uh, and triple w dot right so it's easier so what i do is you have your domain name all right so if you already have a website uh, you know as a, a a main website or maybe a corporate website and you want to create another site for just e-commerce in this sense that what you need to do is you need to take out this wp okay delete this wp and create a name right for example my will be for example e shopping okay let's see right, e shopping so obviously i will put the store name for example e shopping all right and uh, the description could be all right your online shopping okay and then of course you put a username right for example i put admin at dmhubtraining.org it doesn't have to be your email huh? you can put anything at all just that I'm, I'm, I usually uh, so get used to actually putting the my own uh, sort of like emails it's much easier for me to remember alright and then of course you put in your password huh? so I'm going to hide that so you will not be able to see my password okay okay so that's my password just remember that when you put in password um, advisable that you put at least one capital letter at least one small letter one number and one special character what is special character basically means that all those like add hash dollar sign percentage and and so on and so forth right those are the special character okay now what you do is you scroll down all right okay now you probably want to put email installation details too and email right so for example i put admin at dmhubtraining.org that's where they can send me information on installation but this information is just for your reference but it's good for long term huh? then what you do is just click install all right and then okay i'll just say never okay not now it doesn't matter that's my only to remember my password and so on and so forth now once you get that and all things you go to your dashboard all right so what you do is uh, the quick way like the, the shortcut way is actually just click here of course, the other way is actually you must put your website like what I'm showing to you now. If you look at my cursor, my website is here slash e-shopping. Eh? You must remember when you create a subdirectory, this is called a subdirectory, which means your website slash something, which is that actually another site. This is called a subdirectory, right? So when you create a subdirectory, must have a complete, eh? which means slash e-shopping slash WP admin and then you log in with the username and password you created earlier okay now if you remember that but of course i'm going to do a shortcut you go here click here all right and then your dashboard will appear okay now that's where you actually you're gonna do install your 
team. Eh? So what, how do you do install team? Okay, first thing first is you must remember this is on the left side here is actually the all right a, ban, a, a column. Eh? So this banner column here and all things are all these instructions. For example, post, media, pages, comment, and appearance. You know, in order to install the team, you need to go to appearance and then click team. All right, appearance and then team. All right, then go there and all things by default. WordPress already have a default team for you. However, you want to look for something that actually more uh, towards e-commerce. You'll be looking at building an e-commerce store. So what you want to do is it goes to add new, right? So here on top, right on the top left hand corner, add new. Just click add new. All right. When you see add new, and then what do you have? Then you go to your right side, right? If you can see the column, uh, the column here says search team. Just put right storefront. S T O R E F R O N T. Okay, storefront. One word. All right, so so front. Okay, there's many storefronts you can choose. Right, generally I will choose the simpler one, uh, which is the first one. Okay. Now if you see this, if you I mouse over to the first storefront. You be able to see okay how it looks like huh? basically this is how it looks like so you want to have a look on it how we want to preview how that that site will looks like you can actually click on preview click on preview so it will show it to you okay how it will looks like huh? so basically because you have not put in a lot of elements this is pretty much very raw huh? not much you know things now I'm going to show it to you later we need to put in uh, your demo data so it looks better so but doesn't matter let's go back again right you click this what you do is you click on install okay let it install first remember that whenever you are installing a team or a plugin first of all you click install then activate right so now was waiting for it to install first then we activate let's see how long eh? It probably takes a bit longer. Well, it's okay, right? In sometimes internet is a bit slow. Now, once they're done with installation, the button will become activate. Huh? You turn to activate. What you do is you click on activate. All right. So when you click on activate, okay. Now voila, you will see this. This is active storefront active, which means I'm installing on this one. This is the new team. All right. So in order to install new team, you probably want to have your e-commerce, isn't it? So in order to have e-commerce function, for example, like shipping, product insertion, as well as also payment gateway and so on and so forth, what you need to do is you need to install a plugin called WooCommerce. So by default, because this team is actually a sort of e-commerce team, so that's why they will ask you to install WooCommerce. So what we do is we'll go to, on top here, the first bar here, Right, he says thanks for installing storefront. You route enable to to enable e-commerce features. You need to install WooCommerce plugin, as I said earlier. Right, so what you need to do is just click on install WooCommerce. Click on install WooCommerce. Let it install too. All right. Uh, while well, we're waiting for it to install, okay. Now it will probably take some time because. The team itself has a lot of data information, so be patient. It's also depend on your internet speed, right? So probably today, the internet speed is a bit slower than usual. Okay, the internet is a bit slower, but it's okay, right? Let's let's say it's just store, install, install, install. All right, just let it roll, get it rolling, and on and on and on, right? Very soon you will be able to see, right? Ask you to activate. Okay, I'll let it just wait for a short while. Okay, oh, seems to be the uh, internet today. It's a bit slower, and maybe it's because of my room. Eh? Uh, the internet it's slightly slower than usual, but it's okay. Just be patient with me. It's there. All right, all right, be cool. All right, sometimes it does take a little bit of time because of a lot of information and data need to be installed. Okay, but it's very good. Now, it's very good that I'm going to tell you, since we're waiting and all things, I'm going to tell you that, okay, the next tutorial, then I will teach you how to set up the WooCommerce, right? Of course, before that, I'll teach you how to also 
edit whatever the information you want to put in. For example, you want to put pictures, you want to put wordings, and so on and so forth. Right? Today, I'm just going to tell, teach you how to install the team. All right? If you can go ahead after install the team and go and try it out. All right? uh, pretty much it's the same, uh, similar to other team, which means you can go and edit the pictures, the logo, okay, and also the text. All right? Of course, you can also insert the contact form. Okay, I do not know why, but it's a bit slower than usual. Okay, it could be internet speeds here. Okay, like just be patient with me. Okay, now uh, a neighbor, let's just stroll. Come on, All right? Okay, now uh, the team is installing. Okay, at this moment, now you will see it, it, it pay off. Huh? It actually looks really, really good when you actually install the team. Fantastic, it's done already. Right, what you do is, you see this, you become activate. Remember to activate, huh? just click activate. Right, and then we'll see how it looks like. All right, just again, you wait for a short while, as it's like, it's actually going there. See, there we go to WooCommerce, right? Okay, just click not right now. So we will set up the WooCommerce on the next tutorial. We'll teach you how to do it okay from scratch and all those things now before that right you want to have a look on how does your teams will look like so let's visit your website so what you do is go to the, your left side on top right be, right beneath your names right the name of the shops and all those things so what do you, you just mouse it over you see this visit site and visit store right so either you click on visit site or visit store so let's let's look at visit site first okay now how does it look like Alright, so at this moment, it's still a sample page. Alright, nothing much. Right, let's look at the. Okay, now that's why we need to go back to the team. Okay, and we actually need to install the. Uh, what do you call that? A demo. Alright, what do you call that? Uh, demos there. So let me just quickly and see where we can actually find the demo. We we'll just click on the storefront here. All right. So what you do is where is the demo? Uh, what, 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 that's where the demo looks like. Okay, that's team. All right. Uh, let me just quickly look at the demo first. Not team editor. All right. Uh, header. Where is that? Okay. Just be patient with me. All right. I will look at where all, all those things is. All right. So no thanks. We we'll skip that part. All right, at pages, images, and all those things. WooCommerce setting. Hey, where's my where's my demo data? Let's let's see. Design your store. Let's go. Okay, click here. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. All right. Okay, it looks like we're going to customize here. All right. All right. Okay, background. Now, there we go. All right. So basically, it looks like this. All right. So basically, okay, this is how it looks like. So you will see, right, this is how the storefront looks like. Basically, is you have a logo here. Okay, you can change later. I'm going to teach you on the next tutorial as well as okay you can change the text here you can change by category and with the category and also you can insert product and all things that's product insertion which i will teach you later so this is the basics of the storefront you can play around with it as long as you can actually change right for example you can change site identity where and so on and so forth now we'll not go into that much until the next tutorial so i'm just click publish Right. So how this looks like? Let me just double check again. The last time, just now it didn't pop up. I guess it's because of the internet, right? But it doesn't matter. Okay. Let me just go back again and see how my uh, teams looks like. All right. So the storefront. Let me just see. Okay. Visit my site. All right. Is there? All right. Uh, could be because of just now the internet issue so it didn't show up the total the full things and all this but you can see actually it's all there already so just play around with it what you do is just click customize 
and then uh, you know you can do do a lot of editing there right like the same thing this is similar to also other team for example like one pitch express so but this is even okay more easier to edit right for example there's pencil here just click on the pencil you can change like the menu and so on and so forth of course you can also change the picture and all those things but that one i would i'll do it on the next tutorial again now i'll just say next tutorial again so okay happy exploring okay now what you can do also right and then you can also do is edit page so you can click on edit page and then okay and then edit stuff in there huh? so again as i say i will not go and dwell into that much you can explore itself on your own okay uh, let it load real quick okay you can actually go to the block editor okay and then just click on edit certain block so which uh, i would not teach you right now so probably you want to look at it later okay now again okay go ahead and explore and what you can do is you can actually you know play around with you know editing and so on and so forth right so you can actually put tools and so on but uh, again like for example you can put a short code and so on and so forth for menu and all this but this is a bit more advanced uh, what i'll do is i will suggest that you go back to customize and do editing here all right so i'll wait until the next uh, tutorial i'll teach you about how actually to do this edit the page and then another one i'll teach you on woocommerce all right okay happy exploring okay i'll see you on the next one